Welcome back with Floyd Boykin Jr. from Spoken Visions Entertainment. Uh, we were talking about the magazine when we left. Tell me the purpose of this magazine. The pur purpose of the magazine is to highlight um, spoken word artists and poets throughout the country, St. Louis, throughout you know uh, East Coast, West Coast, and focus on their accomplishments and the li their lives as spoken word artists. You're also a motivational speaker. Yes, sir. What do you say when you're out there speaking to people? Well, most of the time, my, my message is about tapping into self and becoming a better person, creating a better me. You know, so most of the time I, I, I want people to know that whatever it is that they're trying to do in life, they can do it. They just need to tap into themselves and move forward with it. You're also um, part of a lupus awareness. Tell me how that came about. Well, my, unfortunately, the way it came about, my mother was diagnosed with and she passed away. Um, um, from lupus back in 1993. So uh, after I went through my, my grieving part of it, I wanted to start something and be a part of something and let the people know about lupus so they wouldn't find out about it the same way I did. Uh, you are involved in just about everything, so I'm trying to tap into just a little bit of everything, but mm -hmm. you are a multi-talented uh, person, and uh, you also have tackled the issue of domestic violence. Yes. Yes. Why? Well, I've had a couple of friends who have, have been uh, victims of domestic violence. I've, I've known some people who have been through uh, sexual abuse and things like that. So a lot of times th these friends tend to talk to me for whatever reason. They, they, I'm usually an ear for them, a shoulder to lean on, as a po one of my poems say. You know, So uh, it's dear to me, so I, I write about a lot of issues that affect uh, women from a male perspective. Tell me about the Youth Poetry Project coming up. Well, the Youth Poetry Project is a, a brainchild of mine uh, where I'm trying to create something for uh, you, young people from fifth grade all the way to uh, 12th grade to come to, to express themselves and talk about things they want to talk about and not things I want them to talk about and teach them how to enhance their poetry writing and performing and also uh, increase um, male and female relationships at a young age. So that, that will be later this month. Yes, Who's sir. expected to be there and, and how can people get involved and uh, also get tickets? Well, right now it's actually it's, um, it's an open house, so it's actually free to the public. We want parents to come out to the Creative Arts Building to uh, bring their, their kids. And they're gonna, we're going to go through a session so you can kind of see what we're going to be going through and what they're going to learn during this session. Great. And, and just curious, if you were to write a poem about uh, what went on in Ferguson, what would it say? Well, I actually have written and recorded a, a, a music piece for Ferguson. But it, the one I, I've written, it talked about me having to talk to my seven-year-old son and explaining this madness and craziness to my son. And he's seeing all this going on in the news. So it's basically talked about... Do you unjust. have any of it in your head? Uh, it's in my book. Uh, I don't know in my head, but I, I have it in my book. So you don't have a little bit that you can... I'll, I'll mess it up completely. You I told right. <laughs> yeah, but it, like I say, it's in the book. But. What's next for you? Um, my main focus right now is actually the youth poetry program, uh, a Spoken Vision Youth Poetry mm -hmm. um, Project. And I'm also writing a novel that deals with domestic violence. But you're a musician too, right? Yes, I play the bass and I okay. do music production work as well. So that's when I was wondering if there was some sort of project coming up in terms of musically as well. I'm working on an album, but I've been working on this particular, this new one. This will be my fifth um, studio project, and I'm just kind of taking my time with that one. Oh, fantastic. Floyd, mm -hmm. thank you for coming out no and problem. joining us. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to all the great things happening in your life. All right. When we return on STL TV Live, we'll chat with Nick Lang and Liz Murphy from Laumeyer Sculpture Park, and we'll be right back after this break.